Hey there, Investorholics. Welcome along to another single shot review. Today we'll be looking at cryptocurrency and the fact that it will be taxed. So there's no escaping paying tax on your crypto gains, but you do get to claim your losses just as any other investment. So too many taxpayers believe that cryptocurrency gains are tax-free and only taxable when the holdings are cashed out or changed back into Aussie dollars. Uh, gains from cryptocurrency are similar to gains from other investments such as shares. Uh, generally as an investor, if you buy, sell, swap uh, for fiat currency or exchange one cryptocurrency for another, it will be subject to capital gains tax. So the ATO has been doing a lot of analysis and they think that there's over 600,000 taxpayers that have investments in crypto assets, um, you know, over the, the recent years. Um, according to the article, uh, last year the ATO directly contacted uh, 100,000 taxpayers um, to let them know that they actually have to include cryptocurrency in their uh, tax lodgement. So I think this year they'll be writing to, the ATO will be writing to around 100,000 taxpayers uh, with uh, assets in crypto explaining the, their obligations and they have to actually include their crypto losses and gains in their um, current uh, tax return for uh, this year. So Capital gains tax also applies to disposal of non-fungible tokens, just if you guys um, check that in for a bit of a freebie. Um, in the couple of articles I read, the ATOs, um, they're quite worried about taxpayers thinking that um, crypto is anonymous and therefore you can get away from not paying tax, but uh, I think it's pretty obvious that the ATO is very, very sophisticated and because this thing sits on a blockchain, once they know who you are, they can track you. Um, so, you know, is it really worth the risk of not paying your tax and trying to skip on your obligations? Well, you'll probably end up getting caught eventually. Yeah, as I was kind of saying, it appears that cryptocurrency operates in an anonymous digital world but the ATO does closely track, uh, interacts with the real world through data from banks, financial institutions, and cryptocurrency online exchanges to follow the money back to taxpayers. So yeah, they're quite sophisticated at data matching, you know, so I think it's not really worth, worth the risk. So you need to keep, uh, just as everybody else has to when you're doing um, trading assets, so shares or whatever, um, you need to keep your accurate records. So for crypto, you need to keep your um, track of your gains and losses, also dates of your transactions, uh, the value of Australian dollars at the time of the transaction, because that um, is critical. Uh, what the transactions were, first, so were for, so what coins they were for, and who the other party was, even if uh, it's just a wallet address, so you have to keep all the details. Uh, also, you do get the um, capital gains discount uh, if you hold uh, your crypto for more than 12 months and you don't trade it. So according to the shit that I read, uh, in limited circumstances, cryptocurrency may be a personal, personal use asset, but you need to dive a bit deeper into that one. So if you realize you've made a mistake uh, on your return and you need to correct it, that definitely will help you out in the long run with the, with the uh, tax department. Um, so you need to go back in and um, sort of self-report, uh, I think is the way that they kind of describe it. But failing to port, report uh, on crypto assets and not, making, uh, not taking action um, when reminded by the ATA will prompt penalties and potentially an audit. So you don't want to be audited by the tax department. So if you don't really understand what your obligations are, um, I'd be advising to hit up the uh, Australian Tax Office website, the ATO website, as they've got um, some pretty good information included there, um, some fact sheets and other different um, uh, things to go back through and have a read of.
G'day there, are you interested in learning more about personal finances and investing in the market? If you are, smash the like button and hit the subscribe so you can follow me um, as I go through and um, let you guys know what's happening in the world. So Crack Sky Value Investing will be giving you up to date uh, investing news and content so you can navigate the markets wherever you are, expand your investment horizon and crack your financial sky. Thanks guys for sticking around to the end, greatly appreciated. Please subscribe. Uh, the minimum, please give us a thumbs up because that really helps the algorithm and gets my videos out there. Greatly appreciated. Thanks, guys. Ciao.